Hello, and thank you for joining me. My name is Audrey, and today I'm going to talk about one of my favorite subjects in beauty therapy, which is galvanic current and its use. So in today's lesson, we're going to talk about what galvanic is, two effects that it has on the skin, possible contraindications, and possible client experience. So what is galvanic? So galvanic current or galvanism is a form of electrotherapy. It's been used in beauty therapy for decades and it works by passing a direct current through the skin. So depending on the polarity uh, and the product you're using, it causes a chemical reaction in the skin. And this results in what we call desincrustation or iontophoresis. So there's two ways to explain how this all works. First, we can think of the principle that opposites attract. So if you use a negative electrode on the skin, as an example, and the client is holding the positive, this is going to cause the negative to be attracted into the body, searching out its mate, the positive. Alternatively, you can think of it another way, which is like repels like. So as an example here, if we were using a positive solution on the skin and we were using positive electrode on the skin, what would happen is that the positive electrode would react with positively charged um, ions in the solution on the skin. And what it would do is it would repel one from the other. There's only one place for those, that ingredient to go, and that would be into the skin. So with desincrustation, uh, we're using an alkaline solution, which is sodium chloride, which is salt. Uh, we apply it to the skin, and then we apply negative polarity to the skin. We use this for deep cleansing, and uh, because we use this, to basically make a chemical reaction with the oil and the lipids in our skin, it's suitable for oily skin only because we need to have that excess oil and that thickened skin uh, in order to safely do this so that we don't cause any barrier issues on the skin. There's two reactions that happen with this, uh, and that is saponification, uh, and that's where you know, sodium chloride, your salt solution, uh, reacts with the sebum and the lipids on the skin uh, when you apply the negative polarity and it turns that sebum into sodium hydroxide, which essentially means that your skin makes soap. It's an extremely, you know, alkaline substance and that softens everything up. Uh, proteolysis is basically the breakdown of proteins. So proteo meaning protein, lysis meaning the breakdown of or death of something. And what that does is, you know, it reacts with the keratin in your skin because that's a protein and it breaks down the excess keratin that we can find on the skin. The opposite of desincrustation would be iontophoresis. Uh, what iontophoresis does is it pushes water-soluble products into the stratum corneum. So now we're not working with an alkaline solution, we're working with a water-based solution. And so the negative and the positive ions in that solution are going to react with the negative and the positive electrodes that we apply to the skin. So remember that like repels like. Uh, it basically works on an acidic reaction, so we don't have the concerns of alkalinity in the skin. Uh, we don't have the concerns of, you know, causing barrier issues or anything like that. So it's safe to use on most skin types, which is fantastic. It's done in two phases, uh, preferably, which would be anaphoresis and cataphoresis. So these, you know, two stages, uh, anaphoresis would be your first stage. That's where we're using the uh, negative electrode 
uh, so negatively charged pole or cathode as we call it, and we apply it onto the skin and that causes those negative ions in our water soluble solution to be repelled into the skin. We then follow that up with cataphoresis where we used our char positively charged pole or anode uh, to react with the positive ions in our water-based solution. So by doing those two stages, you're going to get better product penetration. And if you work with a newer machine, you don't have to worry about changing out electrodes or flipping switches or anything like that because they will react. You'll use two probes on the skin instead of one and having your client hold the other. And they'll alternate negative to positive, negative to positive. And you sort of move them across the skin in this kind of motion, usually round like this. And it's going negative, positive, negative, positive. And so it's pushing both, you know, one after the other deeper into the skin. Some contraindications that we need to think about. Uh, obviously, we're using electricity. So um, we're running it through the body, through the skin. So pregnancy is a big concern um, because we don't use any kind of machinery or electricity on a pregnant woman. Uh, epilepsy is another one that's a huge contraindication to uh, galvanic current because, you know, we can't tell how someone may, you know, have a seizure induced. And so we just say no epilepsy in general is a major contraindication. If someone has a pacemaker or a neurostimulation device, both of those would be major contraindications because the electric current that we're working with, you know, could interfere with the messaging that the pacemaker or the neurostimulator has, and that could put your client in danger. Uh, metal implants would be another big thing because metal is a big conductor. Um, so you, you know, maybe would want to pass on, you know, working on someone who maybe has, you know, metal plate in their head, that kind of thing. Um, and, you know, when it comes to dental work, most dental work, you can still do the galvanic treatment on the client, uh, but if they have gold in their teeth at all or in their mouth, then you would want to skip that because gold is a major conductor of electricity. When we talk about client experience, uh, that means you know preparing our client for you know what they're going to feel during the treatment. Uh, most people are going to have a metallic taste in their mouth, uh, sort of like they sucked on a coin. And, you know, it's uh, a lot of people think it's because of dental work that they have, but it's actually a really interesting chemical reaction to the client's saliva. So because all of our biochemistry is slightly different, uh, that current reacts to basically what's in your client's saliva and causes that metallic taste. And so that's why that differs from person to person. Uh, your client may experience a slight tingling sensation that would be completely normal. Uh, also a mild heat sensation. Uh, in my experience, this would be very rare, but it is a possibility and you should prepare clients for all possibilities. So let's recap. Uh, galvanic current is a form of electrotherapy. It's used to either deep cleanse or to infuse ingredients into the skin. Desincrustation causes an alkaline reaction, so it's suitable only for oily skin. Ion to this uses both negative and positive polarities to ionize ingredients into the skin. You want to perform a detailed consult for possible contraindications, of course, and you need to prepare your client for possible sensations that they're going to experience. So thank you for joining me. I think that galvanic is something that's often overlooked today, but it's a wonderful tool for us to have in our beauty therapy toolbox.